Good morning. So today is a Mohs surgery day. Mohs surgery is also known as the actual term for it is Mohs micrographic surgery. If you're reading a patient's chart and they've had it done, usually the provider will write it as MMS. And it's a it's one of the um, specialized fields in dermatology. There is specific training for it. And in residency, we do have to see it. So we have rotations in my residency for us to rotate in with the Mohs surgeon. Mohs surgery is a specialized surgical and histological technique in which um, skin neoplasms are removed. There are specific guidelines for what lesions meet criteria of benefiting the most from Mohs surgery. However, I won't get into it, but in large part, it's usually skin cancers on the head and neck. If it's on the rest of the body, it's usually greater than two centimeters. And the goal of most surgery is to have a very high cure rate, low recurrence, and of course, to have great cosmetic outcomes. There is a one-year fellowship that follows after dermatology residency. It's the whole process of applying Mohs is just like applying to residency. Let me just go start preparing like my coffee and stuff so we can get started. I believe y'all know I make my own coffee. I am not spending money on nobody's expensive coffee. So I do pack a lot of snacks for my day because of just how busy it gets. I just feel like I, I don't know, burn more calories. I'm always just so much hungrier on most. So especially sometimes we, because we go through lunchtime and we could be running late, I need to have a lot of snacks on me. And this is just a sandwich that I packed to for my lunch. So as you guys can see, I pack a lot of food, especially when I'm on Mo's. Sometimes I don't do that on my other rotations, but I think it's so important to do when I'm on my Mo's month. Because I'm running late after packing all of this, I'm going to go ahead and pack up and head towards work. I'm going to get a bacon, egg, and cheese at a food truck. There's a specific truck that I love that's so good so that's where i'm gonna eat for breakfast and i know it's gonna fill me all the way through lunch so i'm running late and of course it's when you're running late that you spill and you make mistakes so anyway i spilled on my scrub so now i'm wearing my free scrubs that i've got in my intern year it's baggy it fits me weird but it's free and so i do use it when i have finished up all my favorite scrubs the scrub that i did spill on is one of my favorite scrubs but this will do and i'm late so i'm heading out now evening and I just got out um, my job in Mo's uh, it varies based on the Mo surgeon but um, what I normally do is I call patients the day before and I just ask them some pre-op questions um, just remind them uh, um, what Mo's is what to expect for the day so I tell them to plan to be there for the whole day even though a lot of times they're not there for the whole day but we just tell them to plan just in case they can eat food, um, they can eat um, breakfast that morning, they can take um, their medication, they can take their medications that they're, they have even blood thinners. We just like to know if they're on blood thinners so we're just prepared. The day of, I um, go in with the most surgeon, I assist in all ways. So we take pictures for the chart, we um, measure the lesions before and after, and during the, the, the during, the Mo surgery itself, I am assisting. My most common roles are helping to control bleeding as well as um, doing the top sutures. So the Mo surgeon will do the deeps and then I will do the tops. 
and uh, um, that's really it but it can be a very long day like today was a long day and mainly because of the you know it is a, a, a surgery so there's always a um, unexpected events that occur so when you have someone who's bleeding a lot you have to figure out ways on how to um, control that as well as when you have the times when the wound defect ends up being very large and uh, um, it takes time to, to close it and have to have the best cosmetic outcome so it was a good day I didn't eat all the snacks and food that I brought with me but now I'm like starting to get hungry so I'm ready to go home and um, think about what I'm doing for dinner. So I'm home and it's 6.40. So that just shows how long it takes to get to get home. But anyway, so things that I saw today include skin cancers. I saw flaps and skin and the skin graft as well. So those are all things we get tested on on our boards. So it was great to be able to um, see it today. So we had a variety of things today. It was really interesting. So I enjoyed my days. Now time to look for food. It's almost 7 p.m. and I don't have any leftovers. So I have to figure out what I'm going to cook.